Hey, this is Nelson. Welcome back to the E-Riders channel. So a lot of you have asked me what I ride. And to be honest, that would be like comparing apples and oranges. But I ride a dual motor, dual battery, dual suspension, all-wheel drive beast that goes up to 40 miles per hour and has about a 400 pound max payload capacity. It's the Super Monarch Crown 1500 model by E-Cells Company. It's a uh, veteran owned company it's based out of nevada so it's local to the u.s which is great you know because uh a lot of people you talk to are up and available during the day during business hours and i've talked to customer service a couple times and let me tell you they're great whether you're talking to them in person or emailing them you get a really quick fast response and uh they they keep a very good uh how can I say, like customer profile. They they know everything you bought. They know they know everything about your bike. And I thought that was really, really cool. So uh, you can call them up and say, hey, this is Nelson. And sometimes they even know who you are. <laughs> but, if, you know, you tell them, you know, I bought this, I got this. They can look you up real quick and they go, oh, yeah, yeah. No, this will fit on your bike. No, this won't fit on that particular bike. Da, 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 da. So I think I thought that was really great. So, again, like I said, this is the uh, E-Cell Super Monarch Crown 1500. Now, why is it a why why fifteen hundred? Um, that is basically because you can see on the front motor, I mean on the front uh, front wheel, you have a seven hundred and fifty watt Bafang motor. Now this this seven fifty watt motor up front it peaks at eleven hundred watts. Okay, so you got a front motor and you have. A rear motor as well another Bafang 750 watt motor that peaks at 1100 watts so what does that mean well that means you're getting about 2200 watts of power total and that's awesome you know it also has a, a 45 amp controller it's pushing out some really good power now the batteries and I said batteries, that's plural, not singular. You have a 52 watt right up front here in the, in the, in the down tube, okay? And they also have a USB port on this side right here. You, you pull the rubber plug uh, off to the side. You can plug in a phone or, or Bluetooth speaker. You have a power button to check the, the uh, battery level. It's a 52 volt up front with uh, 17 and a half amps and you have another 52 volt battery in the back right between the rear rack and there's a real nice rear rack so here it also has the light back here it also has a on off switch for this battery individually did you see that again i'll show you the stats and the sticker on the battery 52 volts 17 and a half yeah that's uh that's some serious serious ampage and power right there just coming off the batteries you're getting about 170 newton meters of torque all right and they're samsung bat you know uh 50e cells so samsung being a you know a great brand name brand those cells are going to last a, a long long while now <clears throat> one great thing about these batteries is that it comes with one charger and it's a four amp charger and you don't have to charge the batteries individually there's a port it's on the other side of the, on the other side of the, of the bike one charger charges both batteries at the same time and it's a four amp charger and as you know a lot of the batteries um the battery chargers that that come with most e-bikes are two amps every now and then you'll see a three amp which is for rapid charging so imagine the the four amp charger charging 252 252 volt batteries um amazing amazing so uh again because you have two motors Front and back, as you can see, they they put an all-wheel drive uh, lettering right here on the side. It sticks out a little bit. 
It's on both sides, on this side and also the other side. That's really cool. Uh, not a lot of people would, would, you know, assume it's got dual motors. When they see this, they're like, what does that mean, all-wheel drive? Well, you only have two wheels, so it's, it's all the, the tires and wheels available. So you got that. Now, uh, this also is uh, IP65 waterproof. So, you know, if you're out in the rain, it is rated. And like I said, IP65. Um, and it does have torque sensors. So, as you know, those of you who prefer torque over cadence sensors, you know, a torque sensor does give you a, a smoother, uh, quicker responsiveness when you're pedaling. So, I'm um, also, uh, speaking of pedaling, you do have nine levels of pedal assist. Nine levels, not, not three, not five, not seven. You got nine, and some bikes have nine. Um, but it's great that you can have as many options as possible, and that nine is, is really nice to have. Um, and the display. The display, I'll turn it on for you. Hit the power button right here. It is color, greets you with the E-Cells logo. That is your display. That is a 750C color display. You can see it's, you got your pedal assist levels right there. So you can go up all the way up to nine. This, I have it uh, at wattage. You got your miles per hour. You got your battery indicator. I put it on percent, you have your time, and here you have trip, you just hit the mode button right here, this is the control, you just hit the mode button to cycle through. Had it at 39.8 miles per hour, and that is accurate folks. Average, we had it going, when we uh, record we do you go kind of slow, especially when off-roading. And here, they even advertise eSales.com. Again, a veteran-owned company, guys, and it's local. It's, it's in uh, the U.S. So uh, if you want to support small businesses, and especially a veteran-owned company, check them out. Uh, go to eSales.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the bike. All right, so you see uh, suspension as well. Not only the front, but uh, the rear. The front shocks, obviously you have your lockout and preload. These are the RST uh, Air shocks. Uh, and it's got 96 millimeters of travel. Usually it's in the, in the 80s, a lot of other bikes. But you're getting 96 millimeters. Of course, you have a, a front headlamp. Um, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the, the middle shock, or rear shock, I guess you can call it either one. Uh, this is uh, the rock shocks. It is adjustable. It's an adjustable solo air spring shock. So you can adjust, you can turn it off completely if you wanted to, or you can adjust it for a person's weight. And as you can see, that is really thick. I don't know if you can see it because uh, it's hard to tell, but look at this, the thickness of this shock. This is, this is some heavy duty metal right here. Heavy duty. Now remember that controller I was talking about, that 45 amp controller? You can see it right here in the back. Okay, it's even got some heat sinks. It's got a little tiny one on the side here and a tiny one on the other side. You got two little heat sinks, uh, just be, uh, uh, you know, keeping it cooler than than usual. Not that it was you know a problem before, but just in case some added security and safety, you got some heat sinks in the side. Now you also have a 46 uh, tooth chain wheel, so that's what you got right here. 42 teeth, or did I say 46? Oh, it's 46, that's right. Yeah, it's a 46 tooth. Uh, I've seen people uh, go up to maybe like a 52. It's your choice, of course. And if you're experiencing any ghost pedaling, you could probably you know, get a 52 tooth. 
but uh, the 46 does does just fine. Uh, let's talk about some of the the writing here. Uh, it does does have fenders, which is nothing unusual, but they are they are metal fenders. They're not the the cheap plastic ones you get. So all the way around, underneath the rack and to the back, metal fender. All right now the spokes. These tires, these are some big tires. You got 12 gauge spokes on front and rear, okay? But it's also sitting on a, a 26 inch, 4.25 inch V bulldozer fat tires. So it's not, it's not a 26 by four. It's a 26 by 4.25, as you can see. Now, I went ahead and already put some Tannis inserts in there because uh, I, I love Tannis and uh, I'll, I'll put a link down below in the description um, just in case you're curious what, as to what Tannis is. You can look them up. Uh, I got Tannis armor insert in the front and the rear and it just adds to not just the comfort but to the, the, the safety of the tire from being uh, the inner tube being, you know, poked by any uh, thorns or nails or screws because it adds a a, a, th a thickness, uh, padded thickness between the inner tube and the tire. So it protects the, the tire from going flat. And if it did go flat, you still got that thickness of the inner liner that you could almost even ride home on it slowly. I would go slow, but you could probably get the bike home uh, even if the inner tube was flat with the tennis inserts on them. Working our way back from the chain wheel, uh, you come to the Shimano Dior derailleur. It is a 10 speed cassette in the back. So, now this bike total, just so you know, it weighs uh, considerably a little bit more than a lot of the other, you know, fat tire e bikes. And the reason for that is because, well, you got two 52 volt batteries. Now, one battery usually comes with most bikes, but uh, a 52 volt battery can easily weigh 9 to 10 pounds. So where areas where this bike could have been, you know, uh, 80, 85 pounds and you add another 10 pounds, you know, you're going to get in the 90s. And this bike weighs 95 pounds as, it, as you see it, as it sits. Now, a great thing about this bike also is I'm a big guy and this is a 400 pound payload capacity e-bike. So this is great for big riders or even a rider that uh, you know wants to to haul some cargo if you got a trailer if you got a farm if you're a hunter if you're going camping and you want to put gear in the back of a trailer you could put a couple hundred pounds in the back and if you're an average rider you would be towing the uh, the trailer no problem whatsoever so that's a great thing uh, when it comes to, you know, again, versatility. Uh, this bike, it's like having two bikes in one. I'll be honest with you. You know, dual motors, dual batteries, dual suspension. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridic ridiculously awesome, um, which is why I, I, this is my bike. I, I like this bike. It, it's, it's a hard bike to beat, all right? This bike... We had it close to 40 miles an hour, okay? And it puts out, you know, <laughs> over 2,200 watts of power. Imagine the speed you're gonna get. And let me tell you, I'm gonna show you, you know, a quick video in, in a bit. We're gonna take it out. I'm gonna show you a little bit behind, uh, behind the cockpit and uh, so you can see that later on. Let's check out uh, the brakes. All right, so I've turned the bike around so that way you can see the, the brakes and the rotors. So if you look right here, you have uh, the uh, Tektro caliper. That is a huge caliper, let me tell you. And there's a good reason for that too, because uh, it's got an even uh, bigger and, and thicker rotor. This rotor is a huge 203 millimeters. A lot of times you see 180 millimeters. So, and it's also 2.3 millimeters thick. So just the thickness of the rotor right here is another reason why you need a much bigger caliper. And uh, this, these Tektro brakes, they're uh, four piston and with sensor control.
so very responsive. I mean, I, at being such a heavy bike and a big rider, you need to rely on brakes that will work almost consistently. And let me tell you, they did not go cheap on the brakes here at E-Cells. You know, they thought of everything. They got some really nice premium parts on and components on the E-Cells uh, 1500 series. So there's, here's a, the, like I said, the heat sink that's on the other side. You know, they got one, one on each side. Each battery does have a keyhole to release. So this just slides out the back. And coming over here, here is the keyhole for the other battery. And here's what the shocks look like on the other side. The controls are all on the other side and in the middle. Now this seat, this is not the, uh, the seat that comes with the bike. Of course, I changed it out because this is a much wider seat. I do like the, the Schwinn seat, and I'll, I'll put the link in the description of the video uh, if you want to know the, the seat that I, that I like, being a bigger rider. Now, the one you get will be black. Um, well, depending on the color of the bike, they do have various colors, orange, black, blue, red, camouflage. If you're a hunter, let me tell you that camouflage is sweet. And you can see pictures of it uh, if you go to their website, just check it out. Awesome, I think they even give you like a front basket or something like that, so you can hold even more gear. But I swapped out the seat, and of course on their seat it does, does have the E-Cells logo on it. Uh, so this is not stock, guys, this is just this is the seat that I put on there. And uh, there's a couple other things too. Uh, for example, I put this on. This is just, you know, for the brake lever. Uh, it's just like a little rubber, so when you grab it, you know, with your, with, a, with one finger or a couple fingers, I like to get that that, uh, that that nice good grip, a good purchase on it. So I just put these on there on both sides. And I also put uh, these grips on there. They, they came with uh, regular, which is very common, regular uh, leather stitched uh, grips. But I prefer the, the clamping grips, so I put the grips that have the clamps to prevent it from uh, spinning on the handlebars. So let's go over some of the components uh, and controls in the cockpit. So right away you have the throttle. It's a thumb throttle, but it's not the usual you know, up and down throttle. This is a side to side throttle. So it's actually more I, th I think more comfortable con contour wise to the position of your hand on on the grip because you just do this and you just bring it in and as you bring it in you have you know even con more control of the grip so it's still a thumb throttle but it's in a different position now you look at the control you have your plus and minus to go up and down through pedal assist you got your mode and then you, and then you have your power button now this right here is the switch if I could get a good focus on, there we go. You have one, two, and three. Right now it's in the middle position, but you can go to the front motor, the rear motor, or both motors at the same time. So there are instances where you don't need to run both motors. And in fact, if you take down uh, one of the motors and just you know use one motor instead of both, Obviously, you're not going to be going through as much battery. So you're going to preserve lots of energy and you're still going to be fine. Now, if you're, if you're off-roading, you got, you know, a lot of rocks or gravel and you just want the, a good enough traction, you go with two motors. Also, another thing that's great about this is that you have an adjustable stem. Now, I have the stem all the way up. I like that because it gives me a better position when riding. I could sit up straight and hold the handlebars and ride instead of leaning all the way forward and putting all that weight on my palm. 
and my arms get tired, shoulders get tired, maybe your back if you have back problems. So I put that adjustable stem all the way up so I could sit upright and ride more of a cruiser type style ride instead of more you know more of the mountain bike leaning forward so that's one of the things that i prefer so yeah as i said they, they've got a few different colors so i like how this color scheme works uh the orange and black you know they got the the orange on the rim and they also have the orange on the front suspension fork i really like that you know, a lot of times things are put together and the color scheme is off because one part of the bike is not matching, you know, where this might be chrome or gold. Well, this is black. I, I think that's awesome. They, they, they kept it pretty much, you know, color coded uh, to the bike. And if you see some of the colors, you know, there's a lot of options. So when you look at those colors, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now the camo one, like everything's pretty much camo, which is cool because, you know, the whole purpose of that is to not be seen in the woods as much. So, again, uh, this bike, it will be in the description. Check them out, guys. Now this bike, as, as it sits with the, the 1500 series, it's going to be anywhere from, you know, $4,500 to $5,000. Um, now I do have a coupon code. I've talked to the owner uh, and customer service you know, a number of times. They know I have a channel um, and they know that this is my personal bike. I love this bike and they've given me a coupon code to save you guys some money. It's not a lot of money, but you know, if you're on the fence, um, but you definitely want to get one of these. Now they do have smaller models with smaller motors, which are like half the price. So they can still be all-wheel drive. So if you don't need, you know, 2,200 watts of pure power, that's okay. You can get uh, a couple of 500 watts, you know, one in each tire, one in each wheel. And so it'd be a 1,000 watts total. That's perfectly fine. You don't really need uh, that much, especially if, if, if you know, you're just uh, the casual rider. You're not going off-roading much. But I don't want to end the video just yet. Like I said, I want to show you some riding footage, but I also want to tell you that this is not everything. When you buy a 1500, you get a lot of other bonuses as well. Some really cool accessories, accessories that would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you bought them separately. And the fact that they include that with their bike um, is another testament to uh, to the company and how much they appreciate their customers by throwing a lot of the, the stuff in so I'm gonna put on the accessories uh, Mostly it'd be their stuff now. I personally have some accessories that I, that I have too and uh, I'll tell you which is separate which which ones I put on and which ones come with the bike when you purchase it the only reason why I took a lot of that stuff off is because I wanted you to be able to see the battery back here um, and some of the, you know the bags and stuff that come with it uh, you wouldn't be able to see a lot of that stuff. So I'm going to put that on for you. I'll show you what that looks like. And, and it's impressive. It's, it, it's an impressive accessory. It's not just something they just, you know, just bought and just throw on. Uh, you're going to see how custom made the accessory is. So, all right, I'm going to do a little video magic. So here it is with the, uh, accessories. Uh, they give you some really nice side bags right here. And then they actually just hook on. They do use the, the conventional hooks to hook on the on the bar. So you get two of them. So you get that nice side action going on on both sides. You get an orange cargo net. You even get a little helmet. All right, went ahead and put on some accessories of my own. I got uh, little turning signals. You press that. You can see it in front and in, and also on back uh, for people in the area, so they can see if you're turning, uh, if they're in front of you or in, behind you. I also have a little alarm, which is right there. This is the newer style alarms. 
instead of the old one, this one right here, I uh, can actually use as a horn. So I'm pressing the button, or you get an alarm, you just take the key fob out, keep the little uh, holder right on the, on the handlebar there, take the key with you, arm it. It's the same as the old ones where it's vibration. So if it moves and all that stuff, just uh, you can put this on your handlebar, just like that. Snap it in. It's perfect. Love it. Now, of course, I put in the, the water bottle, orange and black uh, to match to match everything. Also, they give you a, uh, which also um, just uh, snaps right onto the top of the bar right here. But this is a little tool kit. Or you can put something else in there if you want to. Uh, you can put your own tools, but they give you a set of tools also. So, yeah, that's some of the accessories that I put on. Um, also comes with a, and that comes with, but you can get a, a rear bag, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Here's the E-Cells bag now. Like I said, these on the side come with it. Uh, this is a little additional, and it's really not that expensive either. It's pretty cheap. But you can get three bags on here, and you, you can see that these bags, they're embroidered. And they're orange trimmed to match the, this particular bike, which is orange. So everything here is embroidered, lots of pockets everywhere. It's really good. So the East Cells 1500 series, a heck of a bike. That's why, that's why I chose it. You know, this is a, a bike that I, I don't have the pleasure of riding so much because I'm always busy with, you know, a bunch of other bikes, but uh, for the channel, it's just uh, this. This impressed me so much that you know it's mine. You know, I don't, uh, I don't mind showing it. Uh, people have uh, asked me about it, uh, not knowing what it was, but just curious as to what the orange bike in the corner was. And uh, it does collect dust sometimes because I'm, like I said, I'm so busy. I have a regular job that I work at night, and I have another, you know, part-time business here that I try to work on. So I'm. I'm busy a lot, but when I ride for fun, for, for leisure, and it's not business, this is it. This this is the, the beast, the dual motors, dual batteries, 52 volts as well. Yeah, dual shocks, front, rear. It's, this gets me up a hill, no problem whatsoever. This gets me out oh, in, in through the woods, takes me over everything I need to get through. So. If you're interested, again, if you're interested in the e-cells, just check them out at the website down below. You know, if, if, uh, if you're curious as to maybe even getting one, uh, I do have a coupon code that you can use down below, so it'll save you a little bit of money. So just go to the e-cells website to use that coupon code. Uh, and right here is the bike that I have, the Monarch Crown 1500. And right now, currently, it's on sale for $4,295. Um, and just use that coupon code during checkout. Now they also have other models available and most of these models have preset builds and there are a couple of different uh, frame styles which is pretty interesting. But something new that they just brought uh, not too long ago is the five star uh, bikes. Uh, what they're promoting is a uh, kind of build it yourself kind of opportunity. So let's take a closer look into the five star bike so here when we look at the five star model uh, e-sales did something pretty interesting uh, their base model is starting off at 1500 watts that's a powerful motor and they're giving you a 60 volt 20 amp long range battery again that right there in stats is insane and they're doing it for under right now what well, looks like under two thousand dollars uh, and that's, like I said, just to start. There's a list of options that you can do to even upgrade your bike even further. Let's check those out. So they have options to upgrade your performance, upgrade your accessories, upgrade your components. But for the moment, I am perfectly happy with my Monarch Crown 1500. Now it's gonna take an awful lot to dethrone this bike, but I do see a lot of bikes coming out lately with uh, larger batteries, dual batteries, some with dual motors. So we'll see what the future holds. Uh, of course, if I could, I'd probably upgrade to the E-Sales all-wheel drive triple
Crown 3000, which is a lot more powerful than the one I have now. But the 1500 is right now my beast. With the nine levels of pedal assist, the 170 newton meters of torque, the 2200 watts of peak motor power, the two 52 volt batteries capable of almost 100 plus miles of range, the smooth and responsiveness of the torque sensors, and let's not forget the 400 pound uh, weight capacity and the dual suspension. So if you have a child trailer, a pet trailer, or if you got a trailer to haul uh, something from when you're going fishing, camping, or even hunting, uh, this option to haul over 400 pounds is great. And not just meant as the suspension to get you through a lot of the areas where normal bikes just can't take you with the all-wheel drive. Now, this has been my bike for a few years. Uh, E-Cells has been in business for quite some time, I think five plus years, and I highly recommend it. Now, it is a, it is a pretty big purchase, but they do have many other options, so be sure to check them out on the website. Also, if you like e-bikes like we do, uh, please like and subscribe and help support the channel and be alerted when future videos drop. And again, my name is Nelson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a future video.